doing on this lovely morning? I'm good. I'm doing great. Yeah, it's been. Uh, we just came off the floor, so you know, uh, meeting the fans, signing autographs. So it's. It was incredible. It's a lot of love, so it's been great. Have you not been here before or experienced the floor? Well, last year, oh, last year, that. but um, and it was a lot of love last year. But people hadn't seen the show; they only had uh, a trailer. But now that people, you know, got to grow with the characters and and um, embrace the show, you know, it's, it's been great. What did you think of the whole concept of the show uh, when you first uh, read, read the script? You know, when I first read the concept by itself, I, I thought it was crazy. I'm like, what? That sounds... You know, I, I screwed space a little bit like, uh, but then I saw, you know, Rob Thomas and everybody's involved with it. I'm like, let me read the script. And I read the script and I was blown away. You know, I, I, was, blown, I was blown away. Um, so I understand before the show actually um, aired, when people just heard the concept alone, it was just like... I don't know about that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I thought the same thing. You know, I thought the same thing before I went in. And um but obviously it's about the it's about the it's about the execution. You know, the execution was so brilliant of it. And also the concept work and first in the comic book. You know, so um, um so obviously now uh, you know it's embraced and people bought you know bought into it. And I think it's the execution, it's a testament to what Rob and Diane has done with the, and, and the staff the writers have done with the project. How long do you think it will take Clive to figure out that Liv is a zombie and how will he react to that movie? I think it's going to take Clive 10 seasons. <laughs> um, it's going to take him a full decade. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's one of those things... Um, I think Rob Thomas gave it. He gave the example of like Lois Lane finding out that Clark Kent is Superman, and how long would that take? Um, I don't know. I think right now, being that he's a rookie homicide detective, he's just kind of tunnel vision and just trying to build his career. And he's happy that he got this psychic um, girl who got the emo goth thing going on. You know. <laughs> Helping him and pretty much responsible for him, you know, attaining these uh, collars and and progressing his career. But um, so I think it'll be a few years. Is it weird being like in the minority of the cast members playing someone who doesn't know, whereas pretty much all the other actors by now do? Yeah, you know, I enjoy. It. I think it's fun. You know, it's one of those things. Obviously, as an actor, I know what's going on, but. It makes it fun, for, you know, to play the fact that he's a rookie and the fact that there's this other world going on underneath his nose that he is so close to, closer than he re than he really knows, but he has no he has no idea. So it's been fun. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Prior to your experience with this property, what were your feelings towards like the whole zombie genre? Like, were you a fan? Yeah. Did you have specific yeah. movies that you like? Is there anything you're pulling from? Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, I was a fan. I was a fan. You know, I was a fan of. Um, you know, I have friends in The Walking Dead, so I watched that show. I watched uh, like War, War Z. Um, uh, there was a did, um, Night of the Living Dead. I mean, I watched I watched a, uh, a few of them, but I never thought that I would be in it. I never like watched those particular John that genre. Thank you, and thought, oh yeah, yeah I, I never I never saw that. But I, I was a fan of it. You know, I didn't dress up and do things like that, but I followed it and I watched it. And I enjoyed it. Yeah. We had received a background episode for your character. Are we gonna get any more? Like peek into the first one. I think so. I think so. I think um, uh, they, 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 I think they said they want to go into see what Clive's life, life is like outside of the precinct. You know, see what he eats for breakfast. You know, you know uh, what he keeps in his closet. You know, um, yeah. So I think that's going to be fun. Maybe his love life. Is that a metaphorical closet? Huh? Was that a metaphorical closet? You could take it how you want to take it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Are you picking up any good detective skills? Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. in real life, absolutely, I am. Yeah, it's uh, it's um, but the thing is, you know, it's um, it's building on it. You know, I I feel like with Clive, Clive is a it's a progression. You know, and they allowed me to, you know, most most detectives kind of know what they're doing from the get go, and he has to learn something every episode. Every episode, there's something that that Clive learns that he's better at doing. You know, before. Um, better than the, the last episode. So um, I love, I love playing that progression um, per episode, and I'm hoping to, and just and plan to keep it um, the build on that in, in season two. Um, what do you think it is about Clyde that lets him sort of 
roll with the fact that Liv comes in with a different personality every week. Because he gets her weird looks, but he ultimately just kind of accepts it. Yeah, you know, I, I looked at it in terms of, you know, um, this one detective that I was talking to, he goes, you know, when you do interrogations and you're investigating and things, especially interrogations, you know, he goes, it's acting. He goes, we play characters. We kind of look at a person and we change our tones and mannerisms based upon that particular suspect. I think he thinks she takes that literally and seriously and that's what she's doing. You know, when we're in these interrogation rooms, she, she's taking that, that method, you know, to heart. And um, so I think he looks at it as nothing more than that, you know. Um, and that's how he just, he knows her, you know. The first episode is his first time meeting her. And so for him, she's always been like that, you know. Or he probably thinks he's bipolar. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So your character mostly interacted with Liv in the first season. Yeah. Um, and did little clips of other people. Is there any character you want to really uh, interact with more in season two? Blaine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We we had one scene together this season, and it was great. So hopefully more blank. Thank you. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. Guys. Thank you.